taking back their power against predators. A crosstown fitness instructor says hundreds of women have reached out to him for self-defense tips after the kidnapping and killing of beloved mother and teacher Eliza Fletcher. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg is off tonight. WREG's Bria Jones attended tonight's class and joins us live now with a look at some of the possible life-saving moves, Bria. Well, Stephanie, the tragic abduction and killing of Eliza Fletcher continues to spark change. One woman tells me it's the reason why she decided it was time to learn how to defend herself. Strike, strike. Women are learning to fight back against their attacker. Josh Metcalf is the owner of Midtown Krav Maga in Crosstown. He says following the traumatic killing of Eliza Fletcher, a Memphis mother abducted while jogging in early September, he's seen a significant increase in women wanting to learn self-defense. In that first month, I've, I've probably had over a thousand people uh, click on my um, my website. Our membership base uh, here at the gym has almost doubled the amount of women that we have training. 20-year-old Emily Landis says Eliza's story is why she joined. I started to kind of get worried about my safety living and working in Memphis and I'm not really a big girl and I feel like people would see me as an easy target. The classes center around Krav Maga, an Israeli fighting system that teaches people to use their body to generate power. Whether you're in workout clothes or a dress, Metcalf says all you need is your body to fight back. As for the key moves to use on predators, he says women should always hit men where it hurts. So, hey, buddy, back up. Don't get, don't get so close. I don't feel comfortable. You're looking for soft, vital targets like a male's growing. Uh, you're looking for the throat, for the soft facial tissue, the side of the knee. Quick thinking, Landis says, is improving her sense of security. I've learned really how to defend from any angle. Definitely more empowered and confident, stronger and safer. Now, Stephanie, this method uses the force of your body, but in light of recent violence against women, we are seeing more billboards and Facebook posts offering handgun training. Now reporting live in Crosstown, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.